In this video I'm going to show you how to replace a power supply in a desktop computer. When replacing a power supply you need to know the form factor which is usually ATX. You will find this information on the side of the power supply or in the user guide that came with your desktop. There are four screws that you need to remove at the back of the power supply and that's them there, those four. So we start with the first one here. So just removing the second last screw here. Now with the last screw you need to hold the power supply with one hand and remove the screw with the other then. So get a firm grip of the power supply in one hand and remove the screw and it comes out. It's fairly heavy so be careful. So there it is, there's the power supply, 750 watt ATX power supply and I will be replacing it with a 780 watt power supply and I'll show you that now. So here's the new power supply, a 780 watt ATX power supply. So to install the power supply you need to face the label towards you and line up the unit with the holes in the tower unit. Also make sure that the fan in the power supply is facing into the tower unit. That is usually on the bottom of the power supply. You hold it in place, put in the first screw and once you have the first screw in place you can let go of the power supply. Make sure that that first screw is in tightly. You don't want it falling. Now you can put in the second screw. You can take your hand away. Now I should point out that this is part of a new build. So I did not have to remove the cables plugged into the motherboard, hard drive, DVD player or graphics card. You will have to remove these cables if you are removing a power supply from a fully assembled computer. There is another video in this series showing you how to install these cables which you should watch in order to find out how to remove them. Thanks for watching.